Greetings, my name is Melanie, I'm the Cannabis Doula, and I am here today with a new video. It is Monday morning, and I am preparing to do um, some self-care and a bit of meditation. Um, so I have some of my Treaty Recover tincture that I'm just going to take. I'm going to let it dissolve under my tongue. It tastes wonderful. And I'm going to talk today about some tips for safely consuming cannabis. And um, this is a question that I get asked very often from women who are interested in consuming cannabis during pregnancy they want to know is cannabis safe and it's not a easy question to answer obviously there's so much involved in determining if your cannabis is safe to consume especially when you're pregnant so over the course of uh, the last couple of years in consulting with women who use cannabis during pregnancy I've developed um, these steps to help women determine if their cannabis is safe to consume. So I like to call these steps my five, ho my five steps for holistic consumption. Um, so these five steps can really help you in determining if you should consume cannabis during pregnancy and how safe your cannabis is to consume. So let's start with the first step. The first step is looking at the research and understanding the cannabis plant as a whole. So understanding how your cannabis is grown, what type of cannabis strain it might be, what type of variety, um, really understanding the benefits and the associated risks of cannabis use during pregnancy. That's the first step. The first step is really going through the research that is available on cannabis uh, use during pregnancy or for whatever issue you're researching. For example, if you're hoping to consume cannabis to treat pain or to treat nausea during pregnancy, really look at that research um, that's focused on that specific subject to help you determine if that cannabis um, is safe overall to consume for your condition, whatever condition you're trying to treat. In this case, we're talking about pregnancy. So really um, digging deep into the research that is available on cannabis use during pregnancy. And we know that there is a lot of conflicting research, a lot of um, poorly researched um, information and propaganda out there um, surrounding cannabis use for women's health. So that is something to keep in mind. And also one thing to um, the first step, as along with talking about, um, you know, the condition that you're trying to treat and how cannabis can support that, but also looking at the endocannabinoid system and how cannabis really um, can be used holistically to treat whatever condition um, that you're hoping to treat. The second step is the quality of the cannabis that you're consuming, and this is very important. A lot of people don't take into consideration that um, black market cannabis or even cannabis that is um, on shelves in the dispensary may not be quality. And it's very important to be able to determine if the cannabis that you may potentially consume is uh, quality cannabis, if it's free of mold, if it hasn't been grown with any pesticides or harmful heavy metals, making sure that it was properly flushed if it was grown, you know, using additional nutrients and things like that. Making sure you have lab tested cannabis um, is the, the best advice I can give for women who are hoping to use cannabis during pregnancy, making sure you know where it came from and being able to smell it and making sure that it's attractive. Um, these are other tips that I provide in helping women to determine the quality of the cannabis, which we'll talk about later in more detail. Um, but we'll move on now to the third step, 
for holistically consuming cannabis, for safely consuming cannabis. And that's determining and analyzing the social implications that are present for you specifically in your cannabis consumption. So what are the state laws? Um, what are the attitudes of doctors and midwives, nurses and doctors who will be treating you? What are their attitudes and their fears about cannabis? Um, what is their knowledge level about cannabis use during pregnancy? Do they support it? <laughs> That's one thing that you really should keep in mind when choosing doctors. Um, it's making sure they support cannabis use and making sure they're knowledgeable about cannabis. Um, also making sure your family and your friends are supportive and knowledgeable about your use as well. That's one um that's one very important way to provide um, a great um, environment for um, the cannabis consuming parents and child to be um, comfort comfortable in um, and supported in their cannabis consumption and supported in their choice. So the social implications and really um, making sure that you have a circle of support in your consumption is very important. Now, the fourth step is, of course, the method of consumption. This is very, very important because we know that smoking in general is not the safest method of consumption. There are other methods that women who are wanting to use cannabis during pregnancy can try, um, such as vaping. You can also try topicals and other oils and tinctures. Um, teas and things like that to um, support you during your pregnancy, childbirth, and postpartum. It doesn't have to be uh, smoking all the time, although smoking can be useful in some conditions such as anxiety and postpartum depression or PTSD. But smoking, by all means, is not the safest method of consuming cannabis when you're pregnant. So there are some other options uh, for women who are pregnant and interested in consuming cannabis. The other, the final step, um, our fifth step for safely and holistically consuming cannabis is being intentional with your consumption. And that's the most important thing in understanding holistic cannabis consumption. Cannabis can be great in supporting the mind, body, and spirit of the individual in a very specific and personalized manner. Um, please know that all uh, cannabis strains um, affect our bodies different. All women, all, our, all of our pregnancies are different. Uh, and so that's very important to keep in mind that um, one woman's consumption won't look like the next woman's. Our tolerance levels are different. Our experiences, our thoughts about cannabis is different. Um, even our thoughts about pain and our ability to cope um, with different, you know, things and stressors like that is different. So making sure that we're intentional with our cannabis consumption, um, we have a clear understanding of how it can help our our, our body and how it can um, help our minds and our spirit as well. Um, it's very important, especially I feel like if you're a woman of color, we've had a long history with cannabis, a very intricate um, and complicated history with cannabis and cannabis consumption laws and regulations. And even the stigma that's tied to cannabis consumption is very, very different for black women. So I think it's very important for us to be intentional about our, our consumption and really honor our ancestors when we're consuming it. Um, that's one thing I've implemented into my regimen that I found so, so useful and so uh, great in helping me holistically consume cannabis. So I really hope you enjoyed this quick video for my, my, my followers who are and friends who are interested in holistically and safely consuming cannabis. Like I mentioned, um, is cannabis safe? That's the biggest question, the question that I'm asked most often from women who are interested in consuming cannabis. So I hope this video was helpful and really keep in mind those five steps for holistically and safely consuming cannabis. Stay tuned for more information, including tips for choosing quality cannabis every time. Thank you, peace.